Monday, Chicago will file suit against the Trump Justice Department. The suit claims it's illegal for the Justice Department to withhold public safety grants from Chicago for maintaining its sanctuary city status. The mayor says his city values, quote, aren't up for auction. Todd Schulte, president of Forward.us, and Robert Law, government relations director for the Federation for American Immigration Reform. Gentlemen, great to see you. Uh, Todd, you and I have known each other for a long time. I saw the headline from Rahm Emanuel, and I thought, uh, this is a guy that uh, Todd's going to want to run for president with policies like that. Well, look, I think it's important to understand here that when people talk about, you know, you hear this from Sanctuary City, this is a political term that gets thrown around. Actually, what we're talking about is, you know, city police chiefs from around the country don't want to be told that if they have to be forced to check people's papers that they're not going to get public safety grants, they're going to lose counterterrorism funds. That's what I hear from law enforcement. And I think it's important to stand with law enforcement in focusing on real public safety threats. I couldn't disagree more with your interpretation of what sanctuary cities are. Uh, they are really uh, about protecting dangerous criminal aliens. These are not people that are working under the table. These are people that are breaking our laws and then getting protection from these dangerous policies. This is what happened to Kate Steinle, who never should have been slain on that pier, if not for San Francisco's policies. Chicago is one of the most dangerous cities in the country, and the sanctuary policies are directly related to that. Well, well now, now that we've found common ground between you two guys, uh, Todd, to this point, though, this is something that the president ran on. The Kate Steinle situation in San Francisco really brought this issue to the forefront. Don't police departments have a responsibility to follow the law of the land? The, the police chief doesn't get to decide if he's going to enforce federal narcotics laws or not. He doesn't get that choice. Why should he have a choice of whether he enforces federal immigration laws? Well, let's look at both those cities you've mentioned here and, and places like we hear from sheriffs and No, Texas just to answer well. my question. Why should police chiefs get to decide which laws they enforce? They don't. That's not what this is about here. This is about, there's 11 million people who are undocumented here. I think police chiefs should go after people who are serious, violent public safety threats. Um, you know, what I hear here is that there's 11 million people who you think we should go after and try to deport. That is the wrong approach, and quite frankly, that hurts public safety. It's actually not what I said. Uh, everyone who is in the country illegally is subject to removal, which is what the president's policy is, but you should prioritize criminal aliens. In sanctuary cities like Chicago, protect these people. You're not asking local officials to enforce federal immigration law. You're asking them to not impede it. Just hang on to someone who you already have in custody. Not only have they broken our immigration laws, they've gone on to break other laws as well. These are the types of people that you want to protect. They're not the people who I want to protect. That's outrageous. And when you say that somehow they're impeding law, that's just not true. You're giving this idea that law enforcement aren't allowed into these cities. That's false and it's misleading to the viewers. The point is this. There are of the 11 million people who are here, about 300,000 who are felons. You're saying let's go after all 11 million. That's what the president has said he wants to do. He said it. Well, five oh, in, 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 in fairness, Todd, though, the president has said he wants to prioritize. This Justice Department has talked about prioritizing going after the 300,000 violent felons that you've talked about. That's clearly where the enforcement has been focused. The other part of the president's immigration has been building his immigration policy, has been building the wall, which has sort of gotten sidetracked a little bit in Congress. Hold on one second. John McCain saying essentially, I'm not against building a wall, but then continuing to the Arizona Republic. We need technology. We need drones. We need surveillance capabilities. We need rapid reaction capabilities. But to think that a wall is going to stop illegal immigration or drugs is crazy. Robert, to you, is it time for Republicans or those who support the president because of his immigration policies to realize that a big, beautiful wall may not be the answer, or do we need a wall plus the things that Senator McCain offered? The wall is definitely a key component. It is not the end-all, be-all of enforcing our immigration laws and preventing illegal migration into this country. But it is important. It is a deterrent factor. You do also need to have biometric entry exit to prevent the visa overstay component as well. But the rhetoric of this administration has stopped the flow, or at least reduced it dramatically. But the second President Trump is not in office, the floodgates are going to open up again. Todd, very quickly, uh, your group and others of like minds have managed to turn this into a debate, what was a key component of the president's victory. Uh, how do you continue that, or is this something you're willing to compromise on? Well, I think what you've seen we're really concerned about is instead of focusing on stopping future illegal immigration, arrests of people 
who have no prior criminal, no criminal record at all, are up 160 um, percent. We should have an immigration policy that stops future illegal immigration, deals fairly with the people who are here, can pass a background check, and that's where 80 percent of the American public is. And so I think that's why you see people standing up and saying, you know, Mr. President, not everything that you said here is something that we're okay with. All right. Well, I saw you shaking your head, so I think you're okay with everything the president said. Uh, gentlemen, appreciate you being here. For some reason, I think uh, the disagreements on this is going to continue, and we'll have you back to talk about it.